Academic Search Premier is a database that spans virtually every area of academic study and offers information dating back as far as 1975. It includes many peer-reviewed and full-text titles. This video is intended for first-year college students or any first-time users of this database. Begin by clicking on the Advanced Search tab, which offers greater refinement for searching. Notice that Keyword is the default search, but the other search possibilities are Publication, Subject Term, Cited References, Indexes, and Images. These are found under the Advanced Search tab. Investigate these search options sometime. Think of a question for your research results, such as, what is the difference between a webcast and a podcast? Type the descriptive words only into the box after Find, and click on Search. This search returned 11 results, with the first page showing results 1 through 10. Use of the Boolean operand or increases the number of hits typically. For this search, it increases our results to 1,754. If the results list is too large to sift through, look for the words Refine Search. Here you may limit your search in several ways. Full text, scholarly, publication date. For example, if you're only interested in recent research, Try limiting by month or date range. You may also limit your results by searching for a specific publication type. However, too many limiters severely hamper the search results. Now click on Search. We can also narrow our results by clicking on a subject link in the left-hand box. This will narrow our results to a more manageable number. You may see any of three icons listed by each returned result. HTML full text, PDF full text, or check for full text at St. Kate's. As you scan the results, click Add when you find an article you are interested in. You may add more than one article as you browse the results, checking the abstracts. When you are finished, click on Folder. Here you will be able to print, save, email, or export your findings, be it an abstract, citation, or the full text articles. To store these items in the folder for a future session, you will need to sign in and create yourself an account.